so the very first thing we need for this particular tutorial is git so the first thing we have to do is to install git so this is the link git scm.com here you will be getting the git in the uh, particular version so if whatever you have just install it for that particular operating system as i'm installing the exe is going to be installed soon okay so we can see that git is now installed now i'm going to open this particular thing and i'm going to click it for installation purpose it is asking me do i do i need to allow it and i'm going to do yes so i'm going to do next and this is the place where it's going to install it so i'm going to do next i want a desktop also and just keep it as next so this is how i'm going to create it with next and it's going to create a start menu for me now vim is not what i want i want notepad plus this is my default editor so i'm going to take that this is also third party that is okay keep it the way it is recommended for you for the next few more next and then just create install and now this is being installed for us So we are about to complete it and yes it is almost completed it's installing a bit more and we can see that it is completed so i can do next and the git is done for now to test whether git is installed successfully or not we don't we, we don't have to do anything much we just have to go to our folder wherever we want to have a new repository right click there and you can see that in every folder you will see this option git ui here git bash here and even here you can see the git available for you so this is how you can make sure that git is installed successfully